By now you should be aware of the fact that there's a new contingency contract. You might have realized that thanks to the burning pain you feel in your asshole. Damn, I can't wait to invest multiple hours into pushing for a Risk 18 medal I will never look at again. If only I had friends to talk to. I'm of course taking the piss there, but I'm gonna be honest, every time I see a new CC announcement I just think to myself, hell yeah, we're gonna get some nice music and some free stuff, but my buttocks will feel a pain I have not felt since the last time my aunt made her world infamous Moroccan meatballs. In case you're curious, yes, I'm from Mauritius. If you've played Ark Knights for longer than, well, last February, you know exactly what feeling I'm talking about. Contingency contracts are a series of numbered events that don't cost you in-game sanity to play, while they definitely cause some serious damage to your brain. You get a stage for two weeks, and it's not even that hard, but then you can manually select a big variety of extra conditions that are gonna make it harder than my shaft during an Asmongold stream. And the harder the difficulty level, the higher the rewards, up until risk 18, which also gives you a Rainbow Dash medal. You know how you sometimes associate different foods or songs with different events in your life? I associate contingency contracts with the anal bleeding status effect from Fear and Hunger. If I would have to choose between playing CC for more than two weeks and watching AI generated Family Guy for the rest of my life, I would rather watch AI generated SpongeBob because that shit is actually funny as fuck. Sniffs cocaine! Sniffs cocaine! Sniffs co- But it has not always been that way. Let me show you something very cringy. So let's look in our answers. I will also pick the contingency contract, because why not? Maybe all of this will influence the rerun order. Am I right, Rani? <laughs> In my first ever video with talking, I essentially said that CCs are fun. Back then there was no talk of crying, anal bleeding or squidward sniffing cocaine. What happened since then? By the way, real quick, under no circumstances should you go and watch that old ass video, it is beyond shite. I really just wanted to try out making a video while talking and the result was a video with the quality of my videos and the value of my videos. But hey, the subtitles in the Pornhub colors were around even back then. So why was I cringe back then, while I am cringe with a different opinion now? Well, something has changed, but it clearly wasn't CCs themselves, because even a goat with bad eyesight and internal bleeding could tell that the quality of the CCs has increased from the first one to the most recent one, so it's definitely not because of you, it's because of me, I still like you, as a concept. I think we're just looking for different things, because I, when CC first hit, it was something completely new. Yes, it hurt even back then, but it had a certain vibe to it. It was something completely new. First of all, the fact that you were not limited by in-game sanity when it came to the amount of times you could play, that was insane. And the greatest thing, the entire community was thrown into it at the same time, all of us were suffering together, almost as if somebody had implanted the brand of sacrifice on to our glands simultaneously. But obviously the first time is always the most unique experience, and that effect eventually went away at some point. The feeling of nice, it's free, and rewards, and unique gameplay stayed, but to me personally, even that shite wore off in late 2020 or early 2021. Although CCs themselves never really changed, apart from their quality, which has more or less continuously gone up, I think. And I continued to play all of them, although I pretty much never really enjoyed any of them for the last like two years. And that is the conclusion here. I came to the realization that I never really loved him to begin with. We just had spent so much time together that I convinced myself we belonged to each other. Ayo, hey, pause. Now on a real, I actually think that's the case, apart from all of the homoerotic stuff maybe. The things I liked about CC were more or less confined to the initial few experiences with it, and once they became old to me, they weren't new to me anymore. It is as if a person tied you to a chair and then took a massive shit right in front of you. At the beginning the smell is gonna be horrendous and you're gonna hate it, but as time goes on you're gonna get used to the turd and accept it as your new reality. 
All of the exposure has made you desynthesized. It's a bit like Ed Sheeran's music. It is trash, but it's everywhere and at some point you start to think shape of you while you are under the shower. This says a lot about society. So yeah, during one of the CCs of the second year of Arknights I at some point realized, damn, I'm straight up not having a good time. The it costs no sanity, put your time into me aspect was still kind of there, but I think that the first ever integrated strategies already has shown us that there are way more fun ways to have fun without using sanity. And the actual integrated strategy stuff is just so much more enjoyable to me than CCs. Fuck bro, I even think that doing stationary spermium servers every couple of weeks is more fun. After the initial wow had went away, contingency contracts had become this thing that I would just kind of do every couple of months, but after other no sanity game modes were introduced, it started to feel like this thing that I was forced to do. And I know, I know, if you don't like why you play, and that is a fair point, but all I'm trying to say is that to me personally contingency contracts became more obsolete than an organ donor who has done so many drugs that he can only donate his fucking asshole, because that's what this game mode is to me. Ours. And not even a nice arse, but the arse of a fat British geezer who has been living on beans and toast ever since Maggie Thatcher was around. Now, there is one aspect I have only talked about by using metaphors related to my bottom hurting. High-end gameplay. From what I have heard from the community, High Risk CC is as close as we get to endgame content, right? This was a question, not a statement, and there's a reason for it. I personally don't care about high-end gaming. At all. I can see the fun that some people might be having with it, but here's the thing my man, I myself do not take any joy out of spending like 4 hours on one single Arknights stage just to get a big number. I really just can't be asked if I'm being honest. I tried to push beyond risk 18 exactly once for a YouTube video, but my TikTok brain got so bored that I ended up scrapping the video. Bruv, you don't even get any rewards if you go beyond. But I am gonna go even further than that. Not only do I not take any joy and fulfillment out of highly challenging myself with high risk CC, I hardly take any joy out of pushing myself to risk 18. Without joking, the moment I try out a stage for a couple of times and things don't immediately go my way, I just jump onto YouTube and I let one of the people capable of problem solving thinking take care of me. And we're not even talking about low rarity guides, we're talking high rarity guides, all auto skills, just place down and forget type of guides, the good shit. But oh you're not learning anything when you use a guide. I'm aware of that myself, I play video games to have fun and wind down, not in order to learn something. You are not even really playing the game if you use guides, of course I'm not. I would be highly unhappy if I did. Bro, the only times I enjoy grinding is when my bedsheets are involved. And if you consider the fucking gameplay in the background, are you really that surprised by any of the things I just said? Although personally I would not consider myself dumb for doing this, I am just outsourcing mental work that I am supposed to do. For some reason there seems to be a slight overrepresentation of high-end gamers among Arknights YouTubers, but honestly, I am very proud to represent the idiots of this community and the people who just don't feel like investing hours upon hours into a medal and some upgrade materials, so they just watch a guide instead. Look, everything I stated here is just my personal opinion on things, and none of it is supposed to take away your personal joy from CC, but you clicked on a video that describes why I don't like it and not a video called this is objectively bad. This video is not trying to make any points, actually it straight up has no point and is absolutely worthless from every single perspective and you still watched all of it. Thanks a lot. All of that being said, max risk content next week. Now go and click on this video, it will tell you everything you need to know about this current CC in case you're brain dead. I wish you everything I wish and cheers.